1 Corinthians 15:33 Do not be misled bad company corrupts good character 1 Corinthians 15:58 Therefore my dear brothers and sisters stand firm let nothing move you always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain 1 Corinthians 16:13 Be on your guard stand firm in the faith be courageous be strong 1 Peter 4 8 through 10. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 Timothy 4, 8 For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. 1 Peter 5, 10 And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast. 1 Peter 5, 8. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. 1 Timothy 5, 8. Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. 1 Timothy 4 8. For physical training is of some value. But godliness has value for all things. Holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. 1 Timothy 6 11. But you, man of God, flee from all this. And pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance and gentleness. 2 Corinthians 4 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Colossians 3, 3 For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Psalm 71, 16 I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. Ephesians 4, 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Proverbs 29, 25 Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Ephesians 5, 31 For this reason a man will leave his father and mother, and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Galatians 2, 20 I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live. But Christ lives in me, the life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Ephesians 5.28 In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Galatians 6.7 Do not be deceived, God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Galatians 5.22 23 but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Genesis 2.18 The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Genesis 2.15 The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Luke 6.45 A good man brings good things out of the good, stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Hebrews 10.24-25 And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love, and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more, as you see the day approaching. To Samuel 22:33, God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. Psalm 118, 6. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. 
What can mere mortals do to me? Hebrews 8.12 For I will forgive their wickedness, and will remember their sins no more. Proverbs 18.12 Before a downfall the heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. Philippians 3.14 I press on toward the goal to win the prize, for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Hebrews 10.23 Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Matthew 16.26 What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul, or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Romans 12.10 Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Psalms 84. 5. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them. Joshua 24.15 But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Isaiah 40 29 through 31, he gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Psalm 103, 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Job 12.13 With him is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understanding. Proverbs 16.3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Isaiah 43.25 I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Proverbs 14.2 All hard work brings a profit. But mere talk leads only to poverty. Proverbs 18.22 He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs 27.17 As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. John 6.27 Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Psalm 127, 4, 5. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior, are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. Micah 6, 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Joshua 1. 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Romans 8, 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Matthew 11:28 Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest Proverbs 17:6 Children's children are a crown to the aged and parents are the pride of their children Psalm 56:34 When I am afraid I put my trust in you in God whose word I praise in God I trust I shall not be afraid what can flesh do to me Psalm 8:4 what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. Psalm 34 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Proverbs 29, 11. Fools give full vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. Psalm 42, 11. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Romans 5, 5 And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, 
who has been given to us. Romans 8.25 But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently.